Continuing in Revelation chapter 9, John writes, And the fifth angel blew his trumpet. So now we must realize that we're progressing into the first of three woes. And this first woe spans from Revelation chapter 9 verse 1 through verse 11. The fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw, or I perceived, a star that has fallen. This star previously fell, and it remains in that fallen position or state. This star is figuratively referring to the devil, Satan, who was a beautiful angel before he chose to reject the only true God. So this star has already fallen from heaven, out from heaven, where? To the area, into the earth. And the key, now a key is an instrument which is necessary to be able to open or close, to allow exit or stop entrance. So, and the key of the well. A well is like a pit, a deep hole dug into the earth. You know, a, a water well is normally covered with a large rock when not in use so that people or animals don't fall into it. In this case we've got a well, so the key of the well of what? Of the abyss. The word abyss is a place which does not have a bottom to it. It's very far away, without measured depth underneath the observed land or sea. And the key of the well of the abyss was given to the fifth angel, and he opened the well of the abyss. And what happened? And smoke went upwards out from the well in comparison to a smoke of a large furnace or kiln. And the sun and the air was darkened. It was caused to lack or it was deprived of light from the smoke of the well, that smoke coming out of the well of the abyss. And locusts, locusts are of course are insects as grasshoppers you know, they swarm, and they can travel very large distances, infecting or infesting areas, and stripping trees and fields of vegetation. However, here, these locusts are not the ordinary type because they have a king or a leader, and we'll read about that in verse 11. We know that the ordinary locusts do not have a king, because we can read about that in Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 27. So the smoke went upwards out from the well in comparison to smoke of a large furnace, and the sun and the air was darkened from the smoke of the well. And the locusts came, or they went out from the smoke into the earth, and authority, authoritative power, or they received permitted right was given to them in comparison to the way that scorpions of the earth have authority. They have authoritative power because they can sting a man with the end of its tail. So these locusts came out from the smoke into the earth and authority was given to them in comparison to the way that scorpions of the earth have authority. And it was said it was spoken to the locusts for the purpose and result that they will not treat unrighteously, they will not wrong or act unjustly towards, in other words, they will not devour vegetation such as the grass of the earth, nor all or every green thing, nor all or every tree. Now that's different. But what could they devour? 
what could they affect? It says, except the men. Only the members of mankind are whom these locusts will act unjustly towards. Which men? Emphatically and specifically, the people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. Those who do not and are not included in the 144,000 people who were sealed. We already looked at that in Revelation chapter 7 verses 2 to 8. So these locusts were not going to affect adversely the grass or green thing or the tree. What they were going to affect are the men, those people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And it was given to the locusts for the purpose and result that they would not kill those men. But contrary to killing them, the locusts were given this authority for the purpose and resulting fact that those men will be tormented. You know that word tormented means that they would be like a touchstone so that there's something rubbing, as it were, against them. You know, the thing that would be rubbing against them would be causing marks or they would be forcing pains on them as though torturing them. For a period of time spanning five months and their torment will be in comparison to the torment caused by a scorpion whenever a scorpion would hit or strike a man. And during those days, that's during those five months, while the locusts are affecting the members of mankind who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. Those men receiving the torment will look for death. They'll want to end their lives, to be without their physical lives. They'll want to die. And they will never find it. Not at any time during those five months will death, will they find death or will death affect them as a result of the torture from these locusts. It will not kill them. And they will intensely yearn to die. It's as though they were lusting after death. And death flees from them. Death will not find them. They won't be able to die. The effects of the locusts will not result in death, even though those affected will be so tormented that they will seek after death and intensely yearn to die. You must remember that the devil, Satan, will continue to be able to kill people on many occasions until he himself and death will be destroyed as recorded in Revelation chapter 20, verses 10 and 14. But the devil will not be able to kill any of those people while his locusts during this five-month period of time are tormenting those people. The only true God and his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, have greater authority and power than the devil. Therefore, the devil or the people who reject God cannot overstep the boundary limitations that God establishes when God raised Jesus Christ up alive from being dead, giving him a new spiritual body and placing him at his right hand side, second in command to God himself, his Father.